Hip. Whoa. Here he comes. Yeah. Just over 1,000 metres above sea level, Great Lake is at the heart of Tasmania's central highlands. And with a length of 24 kilometres and an area of 114 square kilometres, it's an enormous body of water, earning it the title of Australia's second largest lake. The trout that inhabit the lake are a huge drawcard for all anglers, and fly fishers can target the trout in a number of ways. Gavin teamed up with Bob McKinley from Fish Wild Tasmania to pursue these Great Lake Browns and Rainbows as they fed in the pre-dawn hours on a small two-winged fly known as a midge. These midge feeders can be extremely active and accuracy is an absolute key. With the presence of dead and dying flies littering the surface of the water and the presence of midge pupae just beneath, trout can often be found in what are known as wind lanes or slicks, making the most of the bounty of food. Not much point chasing them, guys. We'll just uh, wait for them to come to us. Yeah. You've got to be quite precise about where you put your fly. And lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Beautiful shot, Ryan. A couple of feeders here, Gavin. Yep. Just on that little slick just there. Oh, there's one just here. It'll be coming up. You'll find that right in front of you. Come on. Can I keep moving or not? Ah, uh, you could just stop because I think we're pretty good now. Just this next next slick. I'm just going to move a couple of metres. Oh, yeah, that's it. That would be perfect, actually. Talk to me if I'm... Just here. Yeah, I can yep. see it now. Okay. Yep, good. It's just a matter of time. We've got so many fish here. And uh, just rising everywhere. But you've just got to get it right in front of them. Otherwise, uh, I think there's so much food that they're just not taking it. And uh, It's a battle to try and work out which way they're going. And just make sure it's in front, but uh, ooh, it's a bit of, yeah. a bit of going in. It's like being in New Zealand, Gavin. Yeah, but better. <laughs> yeah. So we haven't had a look at him yet. We're still not. We're in eight metres of water here, Gavin. Oh, yeah. Yep. So you can afford to let him run. Yeah. Nice fish too. Yeah. Cracker of a fish. Rainbow. Yeah. Be nice if you hurried up too, Gavin. We're yeah. surrounded by. Are we? All right, we better hurry. <laughs> Get that net, and I'll. Uh... You're just having too much fun, mate. Exactly. Beautiful. Hold that, mate. Hold that. It's a good start to the morning, isn't it? Yeah. Fantastic. We've got up early, got up about uh, five o'clock to get right on the water, um, like on you know daybreak, and hopefully there was going to be some midge feeders all around. And uh, sure enough, you've come through again, Bob. There's a super guide, Bob, down here in Tassie. So uh, on the water, just literally covered with feeders. So uh, too many fish, not enough time.
watch for him. There's one over here, Gavin. Can you see this one? Oh, see yeah. him coming, feeding towards yeah. us. He's going slightly left. He might be a little short of him there, but just wait till he rides again. He's gone right. Shorter, much shorter. He's coming right at us. Don't know where he is. I've just lost him temporarily. get any better than this, Gavin. No. I like my sleep, but I'd get up early to do this every day. <laughs> now you know why I like it. Yeah. Looks like another nice fish, Gavin. Yeah, a good couple of pounds, but the rainbows with a good bit of running and Jumping. Yeah, there you go, there's a the backing knob. It's, I've got a good bit of go, these Tessies. Beautiful. Stop now. Just in good nick, just a good plump rainbow. Again, a couple of pounds. Beautiful. What a beautiful fish. Look yeah. at that. In such good nick, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. She might be a good, actually he's probably, could even be three pound, couldn't he? When yeah, it's a good three yeah. pound, though. Oh, there you go. Not happy either. No. Oh. <laughs> it's working out pretty well. <laughs> 